Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bill. And this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. Cast. So, what do we have on the agenda today? Asian beers. Nice. Traveling, depending on where you live, Far East. For us, it's actually West. So, I guess we should have said Kanichiwa. Um, okay, but we are, instead of pretzels, we are cleansing our palate with sushi. Got some rolls going. It'll be good. Yeah, because I normally only drink Asian beers with sushi. Not that that's like a rule I have. It just seems when I have good. sushi, I yeah, you want that's the beer they have, and it, it pairs well. So there we go. Okay, All right. So up first, we have Kieran. Needs no introduction. It's the oldest brewery in Japan, right? Yeah. All right, another staple, Asahi. This is the original dry beer. The original dry beer, they claim. Self, self-acclaimed. Sapporo. Usually comes in a steel can, but we got the bottle. Another staple. Ting Tao from China. This is apparently the number one imported beer in the U.S. Moving to the Philippines. San Miguel. I did not even know. I thought this was like a Mexican beer. I thought so too. But apparently it's from the Philippines. Yeah. Looking forward to that one. Okay. And Thailand. I didn't know they made beer in Thailand. Um, Singda. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Um, apparently the water's great in this beer. It's really pure, so you're going to enjoy that. Water is a big part of beer. It's most of beer. So, shall we? little history of Asian beers. Hi! Beer is the most popular alcoholic drink in Japan. Pronounced biru was introduced into Japan in 1870 by an American, can you believe that, an American named William Copeland, a fine strong name, who set up Spring Valley Brewery, which later changed its name to Kirin. This brewery's most popular export is Kirin Ishiban, Nishiban means first pressing. This is the method of producing the beer with the very first wort. The result is mild and a pure tasting 5% beer. Asahi is Japan's most popular beer and is number 4 in worldwide sales. Asahi claims their Asahi Super Dry was the world's first dry beer. That's amazing. It has a light yellow color with a good head, and is a crisp, clear, but not impressive finish. Sapporo Premium, the first Bavarian-style brewing company in Japan, characterized by a moderately light body and distinctive steel can. And finally, beer from China. Sing Tao, produced by Qingdao Brewery, is China's number one export, and also the best-selling imported beer in America. The brewery was founded by Germans in 1903. Sing Tao is produced using fine spring water from the famous Lao Shan mountain area, known for its purity of water, extreme high quality hops, and leaves it light and refreshing. All right, so up first, here we are the Kirin. And not just Kirin, it's actually Kirin Ishiban. And the Ishiban means first. First, so it's the first Kirin. Nasty because they used the first malt in the process. But okay. Yeah. So this is one of the big three. It smells like it smells beer. exactly like beer. Yeah. Like spilled beer on the sidewalk, you know, then it's not. Yeah, really dry. Just had a piece of sushi right before this, and it it's a great finisher. Just like the right amount of hops. It's like that, like when you have a Bud Light and you want to taste some good hops, but they're not there. It's like, like what Bud Light should be if it had flavor. And you're like, it's come curing. on, I'm waiting for that finish. No, it's no, not there. No. But this has it. <laughs> and it's refreshing. Oh my god. It gosh. is. Yeah. Especially on a hot night like tonight. Not much of a nose, but it's, yeah, it's refreshing. Nice finish. Really nice finish. I'm surprised. So number two, Asahi. Another one of the big three. 
when I think of Asian beer, I think Kirin Asahi Sapporo. No nose at all. No, not nearly as much as Kirin. Wow. Surprised at how little of a nose that has. A lot less flavor. Gives a whole new meaning to dry. Yeah. This was supposed to be the first dry beer ever. And the last, probably. Yeah. Wow. Interesting, because this is usually my go-to. Order up some sushi, get an asahi. And that's... Wow. I really don't enjoy this as much this, as the Kirin. This reminds me of a uh, Michelob Ultra. Like that real... It's kind of clean, okay, but there's just like yeah. no flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It kills me, because I, I enjoy this beer, but right after the Kirin... Yeah, it's hard. I would always choose a Kirin. Yeah. I will now. Um, a Sapporo... It says Japan's oldest brand, but it started in 1876, and Kirin actually started in 1870. But they changed the name, so maybe that's why they say brand instead of beer. Not the oldest beer. Not much of a nose. Sweet, the front. Sweeter than the other two, yeah. Malt, huh? Yes. Yeah, more malt, more barley, less hops. Barely barley. Barely barley. More barley. I don't know what that means, but I like it. <laughs> Barely barley. It's a commercial, though. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I don't like it as much as the Kirin. I'm surprised. I thought they would, they look the same. They're all, you know. Way different. Popular. All three of these are so different. Yeah. Unbelievable. How they can look so much the same. But. Yeah, I'm really surprised I've never had any of them back to back. I think this one's sweeter. I don't like the finish as much. It's more of a metallic finish. Right. Yeah, I was noticing that. Mm. I guess it depends what you like. If you yeah, if you like eating batteries, go with the Sephora. Okay, so we're leaving uh, Japan behind. Heading for, I don't even know how, know how far China is from Japan, do you? Oh, we'll just all throw something on the screen right now and it'll show us the miles. Okay. All right. But, okay, the smell is hitting me right away. I'm not liking it. Yeah. So, what is that? I don't know. It's a little skunky. Yeah. Definite skunk. Huh. Tastes better than it smells. It's you really up front. On your lips, the tip of your tongue. It's like a delicate floral kind of taste on the tip of your tongue. Almost. It almost reminds me of, of a Belgian white. Almost, just, just a little bit. Definitely more hop, more hop to it than the Japanese beers. Yeah. But not in a San Diego no. microbrewery kind of hoppy way. Not this even a like, little bit. They wouldn't even consider this hoppy. Yeah. It's bitter to me. No, and it gives yeah. me the, like, puckered, like, the beer that, base. Uh, that, like, citrus rind thing. Yeah. And the, yeah, it's like... It's quite different. I don't like it nearly as much. It's like, I just... The, the word that comes to mind is delicate, you know? It's a little bit hmm. too polite. Like, hey, would you like some beer? So, you know, it's like, instead of, I have a beer, you know? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to, like, hide yeah, it. No, I, we're beer, but we're not. Yeah. Now just it it's a little bitter for me. Not hoppy but but bitter. Okay, so now we're on to our Mexican beer. I mean our our Philippine beer from the Philippines. San Miguel. San Miguel, sorry. I'm a little embarrassed if both of us thought and most of our audience thought that this was a Mexican beer. It's kinda labeled, kinda the same colors. Anyway, it's not. It's a five percent beer from the Philippines. It's sweet. Malty nose. Mm. It tastes more like a Mexican beer. Actually. It does. It does. I'm sorry. I gotta give this a. Uh, mm. On the scale of ah, uh, blah, 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 you gave it a. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not digging it. 
for six dollars a six pack, you could do a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, like it tastes like it. Like tastes it went like bad. I don't want to drink anymore. Yeah. Tastes like I forgot about it in the garage, and two years later, it'll be fine. There's a bit like, too much of that. Yeah. Like a Make bad sure Corona. The date's okay on this, because I don't want to give them a bum rap if it's. If it's delicious, and we just have a bad one. Well, we had that one bottle we opened. Remember, it was just a bad yeah, bottle. Yeah, that skunk. Yeah, that was corked though, and this isn't. I just got it today, so I'm, I'm assuming it's got to be good. I think it's just a subpar beer. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are on our final Asian beer, the Singha. Not sure about the pronunciation. <laughs> At least I tried. I made an effort. Sweet nose. Really mm. sweet and almost yeah. caramel. Almost bright. <laughs> the caramels. It's like a neon yellow. From up here. Yeah. Which kind of concerns me a little bit. Yeah. Um, Sweet. I've never tasted that. That's a weird taste. I'm thinking it's caramel. Not candy bar caramel, yeah. like the, the real caramels, the cubes. You're right. Because I'm like, there's a taste I'm familiar with, but I've never tasted it in, in a beer before. It's caramel. In fact, that, that's almost all I can taste now. It's not bad. It's not horrible. It's just, just kind of distracted. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Your entire studio is just threw it onto the grass. You're <laughs> done. <laughs> is that bad? I don't the think it's that bad. <laughs> the grass side. That's a good, that's a total reject. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think we need a rundown for the pick of the week, but go ahead since this is your moment to shine. Professor Bill, and All right, time down. Time for the rundown. So we started strong with the Kieran. Kieran is one of the top three just when you think of Asian beers. <laughs> Kieran, um, amazing, fantastic. But interestingly enough, do you remember who started Kieran? It was German. No, it was an American. It was an American guy? German style beer, Kieran. Who knew? Most people that actually research actually know. Um, solid. Everything you think of when you think of a good Asian beer. Next up, Asahi. If you don't know between the two, have Kieran and Asahi, and you'll say, ah, Asahi. Eh. By itself, I've always loved Asahi. I never knew. It's like I was in the Matrix. The, fr the beginning of it, though, right? When he was in the green world. And he thinks everything's great, and then he gets unplugged, and he's like, oh, that's not the real world. That's like what it was for me. He kind of peeled it back, and he, oh, okay. This is almost like when you talked about the Oompa Loompas and Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. Just go. But, um, <laughs> but it's like, I thought Asahi was beer good. beer drinkers watching, Bill. Beer drinkers. I thought Asahi was good. Not Pop-Tart eating. Dude, they call me Professor Bill because I teach a video class. <laughs> okay. So you, you got to roll with it. And the Kieran just is, is real life. But in a good way, because in the Matrix it wasn't in a good way. It was like, oh, we have to eat the slop. Sapporo, a little different. Was it a little sweeter? A lot sweeter. Lots, yeah, yeah, but not as not as good as Kieran. Uh, Sing Tao was just, it didn't really have a finish. We were waiting for it, just waiting for the finish, waiting for the ending. Never came. Sorry. San Miguel, um, not good. Just... Whoa. Almost, it's so mediocre, it tastes like skunk beer. Way to look at the date to see, <laughs> is this like a bad batch or does all the beer suck this much? Um, and then finally, Singha, Singha. Singha. Um, tastes like caramels in, in a not good way. In a bitter way. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the, the craft beer you'd expect from like North County, San Diego, where you're like, well, I taste caramels on the finish. It's like... Somebody they, dropped some caramel candies there. Yeah, by mistake. It's time for the pick, pick of, of the, the week. week box. Here we go. Time for the pick of the week box. No surprise here. We started strong, ended weak. Kieran is our pick of the week. Well-rounded when I think of good Asian beers. I think of good sushi when I think of pairing good sushi with good Asian beers. I think of Kieran. So I'm enjoying my Kieran in my mug. And I'm enjoying my Kieran in my Pilsner glass. All right, Taylor, mascot, you haven't been in here yet, girl. Come here. 
Come here. So I'm, who are you? I'm Bobby Covina. I'm Professor Bill saying, Now, now that's, that's a beer. beer.